this is a very important, important topic. And uh, I do want to start out by saying that uh, I think all of us um, believe that this is such a terribly tragic case. And uh, my thoughts and prayers continue to go out to uh, Lori Redman's family, and, uh, the little girl, and all of the people that have been involved in harmed by this, this uh, terrible tragedy. Uh, and we need to make sure this never happens again. And I do think that uh, officials in Central New York, both Republicans and Democrats, and all the different offices are all dedicated to making sure that this doesn't happen again anywhere, not in Central New York, not anywhere else. Uh, and in doing that, um, after I heard about it, I think uh, Bill and the Assembly and a number of other Assemblymen, State Senators, and uh, certainly in Congress, we all wanted to make sure this couldn't happen again and, and do something about it. And they looked at some things in the state, and Bill can talk about that in a second. But, uh, but he uh, wrote to me very quickly and said, this is a federal thing because it's a federal uh, probation department, and I agree. And uh, one of the things that I had already started to do was take a look at the monitoring devices. Uh, I'm the ranking member of the science uh, oversight subcommittee, so we're just taking a look at the monitoring devices. Um, and doing other things, but then it became uh, clear that look, well, the problem here was, fun was not fundamentally a failure of equipment, uh, but a failure of personnel and a failure of policy at the Syracuse Probation Office. So uh, we decided to ask the Congressional Research Service, which is an independent, nonpartisan um, part of the Library of Congress that does research, uh, to look at the issue in depth, uh, and the result of that is uh, this uh, six-page document. We have copies for all of you. It's very technical, uh, but it's short, and, it, and it's, it sort of covers uh, basically what this is all about. Coming off of that analysis, we've decided that there are three legislative actions that we must take in order to make sure that we avoid this happening again. First, we need to create an independent watchdog to oversee the federal probation office. Um, most offices, in fact, almost every office that we could find in the federal government has an inspector general. Even the IRS has an inspector general. But there is no inspector general or any other watchdog uh, looking over uh, the office of uh, the federal office of probation. Uh, it's in the judiciary branch. Um, and so because of that, it sort of has fallen through the cracks. Well, it's very, very important that we do have that independent watchdog to make sure uh, that everything is going well. Uh, we have to establish nationwide standards for responding to electronic men uh, monitoring bracelets. Uh, these nationwide standards, some of these standards we already had, um, but they weren't nationwide, and they weren't standardized. And because of that, different offices responded to alerts in different ways. And one of the suggestions that I might have is that there should be a backup office, perhaps the county DA, perhaps local law enforcement, that also gets these alerts to make sure uh, that there are people that are seeing these alerts and know what is going on. Um, and that should probably be part of the national standard to make sure that wherever this is, uh, that, that there is always a backup um, and that uh, people uh, like Mr. Renz cannot escape um, from, their, uh, from their bracelet and do horrible work. And lastly, we need to make it a federal crime uh, to tamper with one of these devices. Uh, I believe we should make it a felony. Uh, tax evasion is a felony, so why don't we make this a felony? If you've done this before, uh, you should not be uh, trusted with one of these monitoring bracelets. I think making it a, more, a federal crime uh, would help do that. If these three measures were in place on March 14th, this terrible tragedy would not have occurred. It's important that we continue to do everything we can on every level of government to make sure that this can't happen. And I want to make it clear that these particular legislative proposals, which I will be drafting, uh, don't mean that there aren't other things that we can we need to do outside the legislative uh, area. Um, I strongly stand with Senator Schumer in calling for hearings on this matter. Uh, we would like to have hearings in the Senate Judiciary Committee. And, but if we can't have those, we'll, we'll try the House Judiciary Committee. Frankly, if both of them had hearings, that would be fine. We need to make sure that people are educated on this all over the country to make sure that it can't happen again. Um, and we will look at the monitoring bracelets, continue to look at the standards about those bracelets, whether they can be improved, uh, both in terms of their use or the added technology. Uh, and with that, I want to uh, introduce to you somebody who's been a leader in this issue, and 